live from New York, it's the Alice and Eden Show, starring... Yay! for coming. I'd really like to thank the Live Broadcast Network for asking me to be on your show today. Um, it's, it's a really odd time. My heart goes out to everybody right now. Uh, we haven't left our apartment in almost a month. And so thank you so much, Joseph, for asking us to wash our hair, get dressed, and really talk about what we do. You know, we're in New York City, we're the strongest city in the world, and right now I feel like we need to band together and show the beauty of what we can do to make light of this horrible situation. And I'm really, I'm really proud to have stayed and weather this storm. Um, I just have some like uplifting things to, to say to people out there that are living a very, um, sad life right now. Um, we lived through 9-11 and I never thought things could actually be worse. And this is turning out to be every day worse and worse and worse. And I took your show, Joseph, so I could maybe make somebody smile tonight and show you what I do. I'm a New York manufacturer. We're 100% made in Brooklyn. I am a glass mosaic tile artist, and I'd love to show you what I do. So, with further ado, I would like to show you some items that really will help you brighten your day. And I thought I would make this more into a do a DIY show. So, come with me. So, the past four weeks in my apartment in my pajamas, you get a little stir crazy. So I kind of made my apartment into it, or my dining room into my studio, where I'm able to still produce glass tile orders in case any of my tile distributors are out there, I'm working on them. I'm working on them on my dining room table with my kids in the background. So come into my new studio. We're, we will be back in Bushwick soon, but for now, we're here. Um, come. I wanted to show you just what we do, so you have a little idea of what we normally do. I make glass mosaic tiles. I've been doing this for 27 years uh, in New York City. I'm so proud to be able to manufacture domestically made products for the interior design community. And I really, uh, I, I, I love color. I think that we all need a little bit of color in our lives right now. So look at my new store. My kids are probably not thrilled that I've turned my whole dining room into my dream studio, but they're getting used to it considering they don't leave their rooms because they're playing Xbox all day. That's a whole nother story, but so come, I'm gonna show you the things that I do. So I've branched off not only in to my my babies, my tiles. I also have branched off into fashion and fabrics, clothing, pillows, home accessories, and candles and bath goods. And my last and most recent, oh, and carpets, I forgot that. And my most recent thing that we've launched was our wallpaper which I was so excited to launch at our covering show in New Orleans. And we never got the chance to do it, but that was something I was very, very proud to offer people. Um, with, with this insanity going on, I thought that nobody, you, I think it's most important to learn to do some do-it-yourself projects at home and you know, I would say 100% of my friends have been laid off and their companies have closed. And so I think the, uh, the thing to do would be to make some wallpaper that you can put peel. So we've come up with this peel and stick idea. Easy. We have two, four, six, 12 patterns of my glass mosaic tiles. And now we're making them so you can order 
have them in about two weeks, and you peel them and stick them right on your wall. Let me give you a visual. It's so easy. It's something you can do while you're sitting home. You don't have to call a wallpaper man because you can't have a wallpaper man come into your house. Something that you could do on your own. And really the way that I'm keeping my sanity during this really, really hard time is making things and exploring new ideas of things I've never done. So I'm gonna give you, an, I'm gonna show you, these are all my patterns of 27 years of creating glass tile. Once again, glass tile is my baby. Nobody loves glass more than me. I can say I am a glass snob. So I figured, you know, you can do wallpapers that you could just stick on. It's, it's super easy. This is a project to get your mind off of the monotony of the sadness that's going on. You know, before we go any further, my son, who I love so much, is filming. My husband is here with me. And my other son is like on the Xbox Nationals and probably won't be leaving his room until school. So let me just give you a little visual of what we're, where we're living. So maybe I'll have my cameraman slash baby show you. We live on Broadway. Broadway is like the most busy thoroughfare of New York City, I think, because this is the street I drive on every day. And there's very, very few cars. This is actually the first time I've ever opened my window. So I never thought to open my window before. I never looked out my window. I never saw a neighbor, but it is what it is. So oh, while, you're, some. while you're home sitting and needing something to do, get creative, make yourself happy. I've been making purses and pillows and accessories. I even made scarves and t-shirts. We're, we're cutting up t-shirts to give you just fun stuff, things that you need to get your mind off of right now. You don't need to buy a pillow. You don't need to buy anything. But what you do need to do is move your, move your sadness into creating something beautiful. Um, as I said, we manufacture in Brooklyn. We have been very, very proud to be a US made company. Um, I provide domestically made tiles for the tile industry. So this is what we do. And let's see, what else can I show you? Oh, so I have this mannequin and every day I dress her up into the outfits that I would have worn on a regular day. It's almost like we're living in this dystopian world that we need to get out of and we need to have some fun. We need color in our lives more than ever. We need to be happy. If you're sitting home alone, no, you're not alone. Um, I, want, I, I think that right now getting creative and doing some fun things for yourself is very, very important. It's keeping me sane. I took my whole dining room and I made a showroom and I sell to my kids. They come in my sh my shop. Would you like to buy? Would you like to buy a hand cream? They don't want anything. They don't even look at us. But I mean, I think it's fun to see the fruits of our labor. Twenty seven years of creating patterns for every designer, every high end designer in in the world. And we've been able to take these patterns and create really beautiful items. For instance, rugs. We're doing some fun rugs. This was, this, we did a couch for the Holiday House in the Hamptons this summer, which I think I met the most fabulous ladies. I hope you girls are watching. Um, the memories made there will last a lifetime. And I guess without further ado, we should really talk about wallpaper. So let me get to the wallpaper. Okay. I'm not sure where to start, but I do like metallics and I do like really fun patterns. This is the zigzag too. 
super, super easy to install. The paper's heavy, it's commercial grade, type two, comes 52 inches long, it by, by whatever you want. You could order an entire wall with a two inch lead on each side. Fabulous. This pattern I created for the movie set of Sex in the City. If you remember when the girls were in Morocco walking down the runway, they were actually at Silver Cup Studios in New York City. This is the pattern we created for them. It was an entire runway. And as a wall finish, it's fabulous. The blue blocks. This pattern is wonderful. The colorfully lined. We have a herringbone. Just so you can see, all this is in my, I love the mylar. The mylar gives it a really beautiful touch. And once again, I just want you to know, all you do is peel it like a contact paper and stick it on the wall. Super, super easy. This is the first zigzag. It's done on a mylar. If you can go and kind of zoom in on how beautiful it is. This is the flat zigzag. Talk about fun. Kids rooms. Who doesn't need this color right now? I feel like in the darkest hour, which we are in, you need color. I live in color all the time. So I find it to be a little less monotonous. This is one of my ultimate favorite patterns. If you can get a close up on it, the circle, the geometric pink, it's beautiful. So other things I think that you can do to spiff up your apartment or your home, you know, take fabric and, and make beautiful pins. Get excited, just do something so your mind doesn't get really, really uh, saddened right now. Uh, I really want to bring you a happy, whoops. I want to bring you happy things that will put a smile on your face. Um, we make beach towels and room sprays and ties and I think it's quite the important time to get out there as an American company and say we're here and after this horrible situation which has just been bestowed upon our world we need to really learn how to take care of ourselves and going back to grassroots and creating, you know, we're the, I would say we're one of, we're the smartest country. We have hard workers, people who want to work, people who are creative and work, want to work together. This is a beautiful, beautiful country and we need to be one right now. And coming up with color in our lives and happiness and being friends with everybody and being more, loving to each other. That's what's going to get us by every day. Um, since we haven't left our apartment in almost a month, it's hard to have any interaction with people. Um, but I have to say I'm so blessed to be in my apartment with my family, my two beautiful boys, my gorgeous husband, who is now sporting a beard and looks like Captain Morgan, which I really should introduce you to right now. Um, and oh, another thing, this was so odd that this appeared, but last week we, we were supposed to do a couple trade shows. So we ordered hand sanitizers with our name on it and they literally just appeared. So if you guys want wallpaper, we're going to throw in a hand, a hand sanitizer for you. So, <laughs> so I'd like to introduce the head of my company, I do creative, and the genius really behind the business. We no, call no. him Ike. Isn't she something? <laughs> Isn't she something? Give her a hand. Give her a hand. Thank you. This is my husband. This really, this was my, my, this is the man who really has made all of this happen. And I, I thank you. I thank, thank you, you for letting me do my thing and, and, not, you know, and you've done a wonderful job. Yes. 
So we have a lot of new products here. The wallpaper is fantastic. And uh, my new tie. So this is one of Alice Needham's fabrics. We're making fabrics with Stacy Garcia. Uh, so we're taking Alice Needham's glass mosaic patterns and translating them into fabrics. And with the fabrics, we're making pillows, we're making ties, uh, we're making towels, and now wallpaper. So we've been very busy. Don't forget pins, hats, home accessories. Oh, and the palm pattern is also on. Our new candle. The new candles. Thank you to my friend Barbara Lewis. This is the greatest scent ever. Um, so. Really nice. High quality. <laughs> so in this whole thing, I just want people out there, I, I don't know how it is outside of New York City. I really stopped watching the news. I don't know if it's as bad as it, if it's as bad if, in California or in Montana as it is here, my heart goes out to you. Um, we've had to stay very, very strong, and I feel like for our children, we need to have it unicorns and rainbows and flowers inside because I don't know any other way to be. And I think offering you some light and some color and some happiness right now is all you need. And well, it does give you a chance to meet your family. You know, after you know, we had a second son. <laughs> I saw him the other day. Yeah, his name is Sammy. So. Uh, it does give you a chance to meet your whole family and spend some time together. So maybe at the end of this mess, we emerge better for it. we got to make the most of it. I don't even care if they go to college. I love having them home. I want them with me always. This is not the first time I've ever actually, I've never opened my window. I've never been home this long. To be home for almost a month straight is something I've never experienced. And... While you're home and I've been noticing, God, I hate my kitchen. I really need to redo this. I need to redo that. Why not make some fun projects? And the fun projects could be, let's go crazy. Let's wallpaper the ceiling. And it's super, super easy. It's like contact paper, but it's very thick. And it will, we, it will, it will go on very easy. This also does come in regular wallpaper. So if you actually want to get a professional hanger, you can do that too. I actually would suggest that, but the peel and stick is a great do-it-yourself project. Um, my other project would be making some accessories for yourself for when you know it's time to go and celebrate. Um, tell me some more. Give me some more ideas. So we did come up with some ideas uh, based on our glass mosaic products. Um, I was instrumental in creating our ties. Here's a beautiful herringbone tie. It's one of our classic mosaic patterns. Look at the colors on that. And then the palm pattern. In pink like too. Tie, we did a pink, a plain pink, and then we did a beautiful pink gradation. This one's my favorite. Very stylish, especially if you're going to be hitting a tiki bar anytime soon. I dream of hitting a tiki bar. I haven't seen real sun now in over three weeks. So seeing the flowers, we have one tree. I'm sorry it's dark so you can't see on Broadway. It's the most beautiful cherry blossom ever, but that's the only tree I get to see all day. But wait till we get out of here. Oh, once we get out of here, all hell is going to break loose. I'm like hit, hitting the roads for Palm Springs. So that's a whole nother story. So this is what we do. We're really, really, I mean, our baby is glass tile. All we, all we want to do is glass make glass tile all day and night. How did you make the transition from glass tile to fabrics? Did that come natural to you? So. I went to FIT for fashion design, so I always wanted to go back to fashion and incorporate fashion, art, and design into one. And I was with the fabric. Stacy Garcia from Leave a Text called me one day and said, I love your patterns. Let's do something together and let's make some fabrics. So 
first thing I thought about was clothing. The fabrics are all upholstery and commercial grade for made in the USA. Oh yeah, all made in the USA. Very important point here. We talk about our pillows. I bet the girls from Oklahoma are watching. These were made in Oklahoma. <laughs> all of our pillows. Um, some are made in New York City. The big pillows with the down are made in New York City. These are made in Oklahoma. Um, we only support U.S. companies to make our products now. So we will never go overseas. I mean, this, if this whole situation is not a huge wake-up call to the world that we need to be strong and we need to make our own goods, I don't really know what else. I mean, we're in the epicenter of Wuhan right now. We're living in the most sad city ever. Every day you wake up and you hear 700 people in your own town die. But it's going to get better. It will we get know better. It's get better. But every day you get that phone call and you know that, you know, oh, you just this have person... to look across the valley. The yes. sun is rising and it'll get better. Mm -hmm. It will get better. It will get better, but right now we're in like, it's wartime. Three weeks ago, all I could think about was, where should we go for spring break? Or for my pedicure, should it be pink or orange? I never thought that there was ever going to be anything like I'm standing in right now, telling you everything hopefully will be okay and it will be beautiful. And besides our beautiful products that we have on our on our website, I really feel like I should ex I should show you other things that I've been doing. So I've always I started creating. Um, I've always liked apothecary types. There used to be the store in uh, in the village, and they on West Fourth Street. And they used to carry herbs and all these real funky, magical potions. You know, how to find a boyfriend, and you know, it has, if you're sick and you're, you're, what, what was that store called? It was my favorite store, and I just, uh, I just had a, it was, it, I just had a, 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 a moment of, of forgetting. Anyways, if you come with me around the corner, this was something that I really thought that would be very important for right now so come with me and i know we're moving off of like you know the things we need to show oh i'll just show you really quickly those are the diamonds that we make we make really funky funky art so i'll just show you that right now really quickly before we get to my new uh hobby there's another there's an asher cut diamond the mona lisa I mean, you want the Mona Lisa in your house. There you go. Marilyn Monroe with her cigarette in her finest days. So really, this is what we're doing. But, oh, one more thing before we get to the other thing. I want to show you what a well, fo a, a well um, stocked foyer looks like. Follow me. Since we haven't opened this front door, even looked outside, I wanted to make sure my foyer looked good. So for all of you out there, definitely at your entryway, you should have, dis you should have disinfectant wipes, hand sanitizer, a can of Lysol, and in a beautifully vintage bowl, alcohol swaps. Make sure you, you wash your phone when you come in. A box of U-line gloves and piece de resistance, a beautiful mask. I can't believe we've resorted to this, but since we have, at least have it well stocked. So if you haven't stocked your foyer yet, you really should. Let's go to some of your potions we can talk about. Oh, okay. Those are fun. Let's move on. Okay. So, welcome. Okay, first off, I know I did a video and it's on, I think I put it on Facebook and Instagram, Fire Cider. It's a master tonic. If you want to get a recipe, just Google master tonic. It's really, really good for fevers. 
if you get the flu, I don't know about this, this hideous coronavirus, but this is making me feel good. I've taken many different vegetables and rosemary, garlic, horseradish, cinnamon, um, oranges, lemons, limes, and I put them in a jar with apple cider vinegar. And if you've noticed, I've labeled the dates. This one, I've labeled all the dates. And as we've been running out of food, I mean, we're, we're in New York City, we're running out of food here. They're changing because I can't get certain things anymore. I can't get horseradish from the corner bodega like I used to. It's a weird time, but I do think that these things are very, very important to make. Just Google Master Tonic, go on my Instagram page. I put the recipes. Um, you know, you, you have to let them sit for a month. I've already made six of these and I've been decanting recently. Open this one, the garlic oh, honey. This one's a beauty. Okay. This yeah. is crazy. All right, so this is garlic honey. I read this is really good if you're not feeling well. All right, let's get close because it makes noise and it bubbles. Yeah, it's amazing none of this stuff needs any refrigeration whatsoever. And Allison says the bubbles say that it's working. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm really not sure. And as I said in my other video, which you can see on Instagram, I'm afraid to serve it to my husband or my kids quite yet. But once I know that, you know, we're out of the woods. Oh, it's going to be great. Yeah, it will be great. But it, it, let me just show you. Just look what, one more time. It actually has a life of its own. And it's moving. You see it? Mm. Do you hear it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure if this will kill you or make you stronger. So it kind of, I've labeled it and it looks beautiful, so it will stay here. I've also made elderberry syrup. hand sanitizer, an immune boost, which is garlic, ginger, lemon, and honey. All four equal parts and I put it right into the Vitamix. I make a paste and I make my husband take one teaspoon a day. So important, so important. And the one thing, the, the one thing that is coming out really lovely about being home all the time, is I'm making bread. I didn't have yeast, and I'm making bread with my mother virtually. I never cared about cooking. I actually have to say, I never bought flour in my whole entire life. I never knew what flour was even used for. But I went and I'm making a sourdough bread with my mother that takes five days. It's, this is our first bread I've ever made. The first time I've ever purchased sugar in in five pound bags. I never even knew what you did with flour. So I'm learning all these really beautiful things being home. So is 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 scary of a time. I'm learning all these fun things and it's keeping my mind sane. And I think you, everybody out there needs to find an outlet right now. You can't sit on your couch all day long and watch Shit's Creek like I was. I watched an entire five, four seasons? Yeah, four seasons, like eight shows, in like two days. And I realized, I can't, this can't go on anymore. We need to, we really need to do some fun things just to get our minds through it. And hopefully we'll all get through this okay. Um, if you do not live in New York City, I would give you the, um, you need to stay home. You need not to leave your apartment. I mean, I feel so guilty. My children haven't left the apartment in almost a month. They haven't seen the sun okay. and that could lead to other issues, but I'm afraid. I'm afraid of what's going on outside. We need to really, we need to buckle down and we need to stay home. Um, I'm able, I'm, I'm making tile. I'm really, I've been resourceful and to pass that along to you, make something fun, have fun. Right now is almost like a renaissance. We need to really pull together. U.S. manufacturing is, 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 is in dire need of coming back. I mean, really, half of us can't get medication because it's made in China. Um, 
Really? Why? I mean, things need to be made here. We need to take pride in our country. You know, I, I read all these things that, you know, they're eating bats and they're eating dogs. You can't blame these people. They don't make any money to even afford to live, to eat. So why? It, this whole thing has really opened my eyes to what is going on in the world. And we need to come together as a country. We don't need to, there's, there, there doesn't need to be fighting. I mean, really, we have the most beautiful country with, with beaches and mountains and the smartest people and the greatest products and the most innovative minds ever. Why are we rushing to some third world country to make people work like slaves to give us what we don't even need, what we just want, the, we, the fluff? We can do this all ourselves and we can have fun doing it. We can have fun doing it together. So my hope for all of you is do a fun project. Just try to smile, call somebody that's by themselves, try to do something that can, that, that when this is over, you can say, I learned from something. You know, I'm, I'm not here to sell you a pillow, even though they are fabulous. But I, what I am here is to say, you know what? You can do it. You can go and start putting your mind to doing creative projects also. Um, after 9-11 is really when I had a major push in creativity because I had nothing on my hands but sadness. Every day you would hear this one died and this one died. And unfortunately that's happening to us in New York City right now. You know, you're hearing the, you're not even believing what's happening. And I don't know if it's happening other places, but you know, I, I don't know. It, I, I thank Live Broadcast Network for getting me dressed. You have no idea what I've looked like for the last month and I actually got used to it. Um, but, you know, we have to get back to our lives at some point. We need to go to work. Um, the reason, actually, the reason why I am showing you my wallpapers is on March 13th, my husband said, put everything in your car that you don't want to have looted when we come back. And I thought he was really joking. And as he boarded up all the windows and I thought he was just crazy. Why are you boarding up windows? I'll be back tomorrow. You know, he kept saying, anything you want in the car, put it in now because we're not coming back. And I see him running up and down the stairs with his grandmother's lamps. You know, do we need that? Is that something that needs to come? But on my way out the door, I looked around and I said, these are all my babies. 27 years of creating beautiful, beautiful artwork for from the greatest hotels and casinos to art galleries and private collections. I didn't, I didn't know what to take. So the only thing that I took was my wallpaper and all of the other things I had here. So I was really, really, you know, this is what I have to show you today. One day I would love to show you my studio and show you how cool and how happy and how fabulous my my studio is and I pray that we're not looted and, and, and I'm sickened every moment when I wake up in the morning and I, I'm not going to work. I'm sitting in my bed thinking, what do I do now? You know, I, I'm making glass tiles on my beautiful dining room table that my parents gave me. My mother would kill me if she saw me cutting glass on it, but I, I have to, we have to keep business going. And New York needs to keep going. And we need to stay New York strong. And I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. If Please be safe and take care of yourself. Do not go outside. You don't need to. Don't go to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Don't go anywhere. There's no need for it right now. I feel like the next two weeks are going to be mm. worse than before. Um, Follow us on Instagram. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow us on Instagram. I handle the Instagram account and I love it. It's at Allison Eden Studios. We're also on LinkedIn, at Allison Eden, Twitter. What's that handle? I don't have a computer, by the way. So I kind of have to. What, honey, what is that? 
What's Twitter? I don't even know what Twitter. Twitter, you tweet. I don't, I don't even know what people tweet for. You would but tweet. Whatever. Visit me on Instagram. Visit me on our website, which is AllisonEden.com. Um, our e-commerce page is Allison Eden Studio. Uh, AllisonEdenFashion.com. And you know, if you're feeling bad and you're feeling really, really lonely, please reach out to us and. I don't know. I could give you some tips of things that we've been doing. What about your beautiful bar stools? Ooh. See our beautiful fabrics? So anyways, you can do a lot with it. You know, I, I've always wanted to move to Palm Beach. If I wasn't in New York City, I'd either be in Palm Beach or back to La Jolla, where I came from. So those three places are the only places I actually want. Oh, Palm Springs too. So like, the palms really give me such joy and happiness and the flowers and the color. So thank you. Yeah, these are just inexpensive bar chairs that you recovered. Right. Oh, mm -hmm. it's outdoor fabric too. So mm -hmm. um, let me think what else I can tell you. Do you have any questions? Let's see. I'm going to pan our baby. We do have a baby here. I'm good. A 16 year old baby. I'm all good. <laughs> oh, this is okay. So, my outfit. How about the hat with the pins? So, let's see. Oh, let me show you. I made these t-shirts with Richie Rich in Bloomingdale's. That's another thing. I'd like to give a really big shout out to Bloomingdale's who support New York artists. In a time where retail is suffering tremendously, Bloomingdale's really was has always been so supportive of me. They gave me a little shawl. They put me in the windows. I don't know, it's set six times already. I've had my own window. And while we were in Bloomingdale's, my dear friend Richie Rich came in. Again, these are adorable. But we also have regular t-shirts. Um, I mean, look, take a regular t-shirt. Start cutting it up. Start bedazzling it. Throw a pin on it. Know that you will be leaving your apartment soon. Get dressed. Wash your hair. I'd love to know how to color it, if anyone has any ideas. I actually decided three months ago, I'm not going to color my hair anymore. Not knowing I would be really stuck, and now I'm stuck. So, um, I got to do something. But anyways, um... I don't know, we've been making some fun things. Just, you know, a, a made in the USA, made in Brooklyn company. We're grassroots. We've been doing this 27 years in New York City and are so proud of what we do. We need to put a smile on people's faces. Color is so necessary right now. And I'm proud to be offering you Something fun, just something to make you smile, a heart, a lips, any, a fabulous outfit. I mean, normally, if you would see me, I would be in this. But now I'm in this. Actually, I must have been ahead of the crew because it's all spandex. Everything stretches, so this can go from day to night. You can sleep in this. And you can also go out. Since there's no going out, at least you're comfortable on the couch. Sun hats. I wish we could have sun right now. Never been more sun deprived in my life. Vitamin D, majorly deprived. But make a pin. Put it on an old hat. Mm -hmm. Try to do some fun stuff. Yeah, I don't think we're going to. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean we're not going to? <laughs> I don't know. When this is over, you will see me in St. Mark's on the beach selling coconuts. Okay. <laughs> if I'm not in. So, 
Okay, I hope you liked my, oh wait, did you see my carpet? <laughs> Fabulous art silk carpeting rug. Anyways. Do you hear that? There, <laughs> there's some uh, loose cannons on the road. There's actually not a lot of people on the road right now. So that is my show for you. My hope is that we all get through this very soon. We all start doing some fun, creative projects at home. Please put your mind into something creative. Learn to cook if you don't know how to. Wallpaper a room by yourself. Do a fun do-it-yourself project because when, when again, after this is over, are you going to be able to lay on the couch and just power through a whole TV season and do nothing? So right now, I think you should get to it, have some fun, get your mind off of the sadness that's going on, turn off the news for five minutes. You know, I know my husband likes to keep it going in every single room, so God forbid he'd miss a moment. But I've tried to tune out. I try to put my earphones on and my disco music and dance around and make things. And I've taken my whole dining room and made it a store. My dream was to always have a store. So we don't have any place to eat, but my children come in, can come in and purchase a pen. <laughs> I can stand behind my desk and show them all the things I'm doing. I can make mosaics here. So try to find something that will be peaceful to you, something beautiful and wonderful, and that will get you through this time. Um, I had notes. I think I covered everything, but my wish is that we all come out of this more loving. Um, as one, we're one country. We need to learn to manufacture here. I'm proud that we've always manufactured here. All made in the USA, all made in Brooklyn, all made in New York City, actually. I mean, this is not an easy town to do anything. And we, for 27 years, we have powered through. This is our town and is sad and as dark as it is right now, we're gonna power through, we're gonna get through this together, and we're gonna become stronger. And we don't need anybody else to make our things. We are gonna do it together. So I love that if anybody watched, I don't even know. I don't even have a computer to tell you that I've watched this after, but thank you. Um, thank you for watching. I hope I was inspirational. If not anything, just put a smile on your face and show you that there, there's some, you can do some fun things at home. You don't have to sit home and cry. We've all done enough of that. And now it's time to try to think of what are we gonna do in this new world, this non-dystopian world? Are we gonna go back out looking like this? Yes, I hope so. I hope the day that everything is good and we have a vaccine, we're off to one of my dear friend Suzanne's parties. I'm dreaming of that day. I'm dreaming of dancing again with all of my friends and living the life that I love. And I miss all my friends and I miss talking to people and I miss seeing you. And I just miss interaction and I know you do too. So let's just hope that we all learn from this horrible time. I can't believe we're even here. And if you're looking for a fun project, do a sex in the city wall. So thank you. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you don't, at least make it a good one. Life is short. Would you like to come in? We can all get through this together. Follow us on Instagram, AllisonEdenFashion.com. Uh, everybody stay safe and stay healthy. Wash your hands and... Don't leave your home Don't or apartment. Home. 
And if you have a backyard, you are golden. So you can at least go in your backyard. You can't. All right. <laughs> are you ready to say goodnight? Okay. Is it time to it's say goodnight? Time. Okay. Good night. I love Thanks you. Thanks for joining Stay us. Stay safe. Mwah. Big kisses until we can actually hug again. And thank you for even watching. And love you.